Hey guys, one thing I forgot to tell you. Sorry, I knew there'd be something. <clears throat> Excuse me. With the acetyl chloride test, like I said, I'm going to send you spectra. Okay? This spectra won't look ex okay. Let me explain. So, if it's a positive test, you've converted your unknown alcohol or your unknown amine into an ester or an amine. The spectra is going to look, you know somewhat different than what your original unknown spectrum would look like. Okay? If it's a positive test, it's a new compound. If it's a negative test, the spectra will heavily resemble your original unknown uh, spectrum. So let's say I think I have an alcohol. Okay? I have an unknown uh, 12A. Okay? I, I tell, I email me and say, uh, can you check 12A for the acetyl chloride test? Okay. Let's say it's not an alcohol. You're going to get back a spectra, and that spectra won't look identical. You might think, oh, it'll just be, if it didn't work, it's going to look just like my spectra. Okay? Except these are actually generated spectra. They're not, it's not the exact compound. Okay? But it will look very similar. All the shifts should be fairly close to where yours are. Okay? So I just wanted to I just wanted to clarify that. Okay? Negative test, the spectral rule will look very similar. And there won't be a new singlet near two. And there won't be a new carbonyl carbon in the C13, somewhere around one, you know, 150 to 170, wherever it is. Okay? Hope that makes sense. If you need any clarification, please email. Alright guys.